على الفناء حي على الفناء لا إله إلا الله إن الحمد لله <تصفيق> الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونحمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهد الله فلا مدل له ومن يدلله فلا هادي له أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا وحبيبنا وخائدنا ومولانا محمد عبده ورسوله أرسله الله تعالى بالحق بشيرا ونذيرا أما بعد فقد قال الله تعالى في القرآن المجيد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وخولوا خولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويخفر لكم زنوبكم ومن يطيع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما وقال عليه الصلاة والسلام تفخه في الدين أو كما قال فإن عزدخ الحديث كتاب الله وخير حدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها فإن كل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار اللهم إرنا الحق حقا وارزقنا التباع ورن الباطل باطلا ورزقنا اجتنابا أما بعد أوصيكم نفسي بتقوى الله والأزوم تعاته وحذركم نفسي عن مخالفة أبامره وإسيانه اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد أبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم تسليما أدد ما حتى به علمك وقتابه قلمك وأحساه كتابك ورد اللهم عن صادتنا أبي بكر وأمر وأسمان وعلي من الصحابة أجمعين ونتعبين والتعبيهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين Praise be to Allah and only Allah and peace and blessings of Allah be upon our beloved Prophet Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam his family, his companions and his ummah till the day of judgment I bear witness that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah and I bear witness that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the last and final messenger of Allah my brothers and sisters it's always such a pleasure to be back at this beautiful Islamic center. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless all those who worked very hard to establish this beautiful house of Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all those who are serving this masjid. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all those who populate this masjid. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all those who have donated for this masjid. This masjid, mashallah, is a symbol of pride for the American Muslim community. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Maidah reminds us where he says Al-Yawma akmaltu lakum deenakum wa atmamtu alaykum ni'mati wa raditu lakum al-Islam deena This day I have perfected your religion for you Completed my favor upon you And have chosen for you Islam as your religion Things may be complete but may not be perfect And things may be perfect but may not be complete This is a great blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on all of us who has given us a religion which is complete and which is perfect this this means that there are no gray areas in this religion there are no any doubts in this religion and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has reminded us in this verse so my dear brothers and sisters I remind myself first and then to you take a great pride in this fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen you and me as the proud recipient of the Holy Quran. 
take a great pride in this fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen you and me as the ummati of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we have an obligation and that obligation is to share the message of this, of this great religion and share the life of our beloved Prophet Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We are not in the business of converting people. We are not missionaries. No human being has the power to change anyone's heart or mind. The hidayah only and only comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our job is to strive in his path and share the message of the Quran and the life of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding us again in the Holy Quran where he says, Invite mankind all to the way of your Lord with wisdom and beautiful preaching and argue with them in ways that are best and most gracious. Truly your Lord knows best who have strayed from his path and who receives guidance. My dear brothers and sisters, today I picked a very contemporary topic. Instead of focusing on a theological topic, for last 11 weeks I have been giving khutbahs on this particular topic and inshallah I will continue to do that for the coming several weeks. This last one year has been an extremely challenging year for American Muslims. We have seen a tremendous amount of rise in hate, in bigotry, in Islamophobia, individuals who would say things in their living rooms and in their bedrooms were coming out in public domain and were making irresponsible statements. Many statements of politicians and certain biased media outlets were extremely, extremely difficult and very painful. So on this blessed day of Juma, at this very blessed time, I want to remind you all that we all must accept the good and the bad that happens. This is part of Allah's plan. It is He Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whoever He wills, He will bestow the honor on them. And whoever He wills, He will abase them. And His hand is good and He is able to do everything. So my message to you on this very blessed day, at this very auspicious and blessed time, is that do not despair. Do not despair because the pain, the anxiety, the fear, the shock is all natural. However, we shouldn't let that pain, anxiety and fear paralyze us from doing good, establishing justice and being civically engaged. My dear brothers and sisters, we should all remind ourselves that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is our creator, who is our cherisher, who is our protector, who is our sustainer, who is our provider is in control of everything. Our beloved Prophet Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam faced so many trials and so many tribulations being a minority within a city that hated Islam and Muslims yet he overcame and showed the beauty of this great religion to the masses. So my, my appeal to you is do not despair. Tell your children not to tolerate or ignore bullying. Bullying is a long-standing American problem. Children get bullied in public schools based on their ethnicity, based on the color of their skin, based on the way they dress or the way they look. This is not a new phenomenon. Unfortunately, today, many of our children who go to public schools are victims of bullying. As a parent, you should prepare yourself to convey the right message to these children. Comfort them. Console them. Do not put this issue under the carpet. Ex escalate this situation if your child is getting bullied in school. Go to the teacher. Go to the principal. If they don't listen, escalate to the school board. If they don't listen, go to the media. If they don't re respond to you, go out in public and protest. But do not take this issue for granted. Same rule applies to 